Good morning, good afternoon or good evening wherever you might be watching. Jeff Hudson here from United Computer Consultants. I'd like to demonstrate and explain to you the use of three situations in Word. One is the insertion of bookmarks so that I can quickly go to a particular place in a document. Secondly, the insertion of hyperlinks so that I can uh, either go to another file or perhaps a website like Google or whatever other address I type in. And I'd also like to show you how to insert a cover page which can make your document look quite professional at the start and as we'll see if you're not happy with the uh, cover pages that are available in Word you can also download more from Microsoft for free. First of all let's look at this document. It's produced in the generic type uh, Latin type text as it were that we often see for example text. There's a uh, graphic down here, a balloon. So let's assume that the document is all about balloons. So what I'm going to do is to go down two or three pages, this is a four page document, and I'm going to say that this word here, I'm going to change it to the word balloon. Now having changed it to the word balloon, I'm going to insert a bookmark so that I can quickly go to that particular word whenever I need to. So I'm going to invoke the golden rule of all computers, that is select then do. So I double click on the word and now I'm going to go to insert bookmark, up pops the bookmark window and I'll call this bookmark balloons. And when I click add and uh, close the window, there I see that the balloon word can now be accessed very very quickly. So the way I do that is to hold down the F5 key, the function 5 key, and when I do that up pops the find and replace window. I want to look for a bookmark, I want to look for the bookmark called balloons and I want to go to it. And what it does you can see it's taken me directly to that particular word. Let's add another word. Let's say that this word down here should be blue. So I want to go quickly to that word at any time that I need so I will select it by double clicking on it and I'm going to insert another bookmark up here in the, in the ribbon and I'm going to call this one blue. And I'll add blue and close that window. I'll just click away. In fact, I'll go right up to the top of the document. Control Home. And now I'm going to hit the F5 key to open up the Go To window. But this time I want to go to the bookmark called Blue. So when I click Go To, there it takes me immediately to that particular word. So it's a very quick way of getting around and editing documents as you need to. Now, let's go up to the um, up to the top of the document, and here I see the balloon graphic. I'm going to click on the balloon graphic to select it, and I'm going to right click on the edge of the selected area, click on hyperlink, and up pops the insert hyperlink window. The address I want to go to will say is www google.com and when I click OK there I will see whenever I hover my mouse it says control plus click to follow the link so if I hold down my control key and click on the on the graphic I will be taken to Google so it's a very quick way to go to a website from within a document. That is by creating a hyperlink within the document. So we'll close Google. We don't need that anymore. Back to our document. But this time to create a, um, a, a professional looking start to the document I'm going to insert a cover page. Here are the cover pages and I can choose from a selection of them. Let's choose for example um, we'll say this one here. So when I select that uh, I can insert the date 
OK. And I'll just type in today's date, which is the 5th of uh, June 2014. No problem there. And then I'll scroll down and uh, I'll say document title, uh, all about balloons. All about balloons. Uh, we'll say we don't need a subtitle, so I can delete that one. Uh, that puts me in as the author automatically. Uh, I can put my particular company in there, United. Whoops, you uh, better delete that sort of stuff there. And um, we'll type in uh, deleting there. We'll say United Computer Consultants. And that's all I have to do. So there's a uh, there's a cover page uh, with with today's date on it, um, and uh, it saved me from trying to design a graphic here, etc. So you have a choice of cover pages, but as you can see, it's really quite simple. A little bit of editing involved, and uh, there you have a professional start to your to your document. If you don't want the date up there, you can click on it and delete the uh, uh, delete the field, good, and uh, we'll just de delete back through there. So now the date has disappeared, and if you want, you can drag that up by clicking on the uh, on the title, and you can have that wherever you need it in the document. Of course, the text can also be edited if you wish for color, font, etc. So I'm going to change the uh, font I'm going to bolded, and uh, I might like it red. So there we go. You can do all, all that sort of thing. OK, thank you so much for watching. Um, don't forget to practice these things. Uh, we would love to have you as, as a subscriber if you're not already. And we also happen, folks, to love likes and comments. Thank you so much for watching again.